It's the last time they'll lend me mum my car. I mean, she swears blind it happened in a car park. Well, I've, I've seen her reverse. Oh, women drivers, eh? Yeah, all right, I take your point, but she still can't park. In fact, your mum can't park either, so what does that tell you? <laughs> women, no spatial awareness. Sorry. She's going to be lethal with that baby buggy. Still, I expect Declan can buy one that parks itself. Well, hard cash is normally more her thing, isn't it? Whereas you just prefer the simpler things, like my brother. Oh, hello, Pete. We are just talking about you. Still see you got my flowers, then. Thought you were just humouring me. Well, if I didn't like them, I would have told you. Yes, and you probably would. So, as soon as you blew me out yesterday, I'm about to take you all to dinner tonight. Uh, yeah, no, tonight's not great, actually. Well, have you got another auction to go to? What is the big attraction with York? Sarah has got ballet practice. I should probably only do it twice and then pack it in like everything else, but I promised her, so... OK. Well, maybe some other time, then, eh? Yeah, yeah, sure. If you're not into him, just say. But don't talk to the poor lad. when you're ready, please. I'll have a fizzy water, Diane, but for God's sake, stick some ice and lemonade so it actually looks like a proper drink. Some people adapt to pregnancy better than others. I might have a dry wedding. You know, make everyone else suffer with me. Seems only fair. Won't be anyone else there at this rate, so it won't make much difference. Megan's boycotting it on political grounds. Oh, well, there you go, then. We'll save a fortune on booze. She won't come unless... She can bring Jay. Right, and what are you saying? I'm saying I need time to talk around. Well, get talking, cos we're all booked for the 15th. Oh, no, you are not seriously expecting us to rearrange our wedding because of a sister that you usually can't stand. Look, I really want this to be right this time. Yeah? How very high-minded of you. Well, tell you what, you go and fix things with Megan, never mind leaving your pregnant fiancé high and dry. Debbie has got you right where she wants you, hasn't she? I mean, well, maybe I think she's worth it. Well, if you've got something to say, then say it. She's doing the dirty on you, mate. <sighs> yeah, whatever. She never went to any auction. She was in all afternoon, and she wasn't on her own. I'm telling you, some guy pulled up in a flash car, designer gear, dodgy smile. Couldn't get him inside quick enough. 